Hey guys, welcome back to RMA Garage. In today's video, we are gonna be working on my son's mini bike. Now, we bought him a Christmas present and it was a new brake kit. Now, the brake kit on this mini bike is the original brake and we're gonna show you why we're gonna change it out. This is called a scrub brake and basically there's a piece of metal that rubs up against the tire, scrubs the tire, and it stops the mini bike. Well, there's a couple things we don't like about it. The first thing is that the spring uh, here is not strong enough and we've tried several springs and basically the lever bounces up and down when he rides it. Uh, also, when he uses the brake, it starts to wear out the tire a whole lot faster because obviously the friction is wearing off the nubs. So we thought it would be a good idea to get a, what they call a centrifugal break, which basically this is going to fit around here and it will rub on the metal on the outside of this clutch and it will stop the mini bike that way. Now we got cables, we got a, a lever and we got all the hardware for that. So we're hoping that this new setup is going to save on tires and it's going to be a whole lot more efficient and then the uh, braking is not going to be susceptible to slippage on the tire. So we'll have a good brake system for the mini bike. All right, let's get to it. All right, guys, I wanted to show you the parts that we're gonna be using today. Uh, well, we got the brake band. This is the, the actual lining uh, that will rub up against the uh, clutch. We've got the mounting bracket that got, attaches to the engine. Uh, they gave us a guard, and this actually goes in front of after this is all put together. We got a nice, I think it's a 70s style brake lever. It's, it's metal and it's got this big knob at the end. It's gonna look kind of retro, I think. Uh, they did give us plenty of cable. Uh, we're probably gonna end up having to maybe shorten it a little bit. We got our socket set. We've got uh, the necessary hardware and we checked it all out. It looks like we have everything in this kit. And this kit was uh, bought from OMB Warehouse. They're out of Pennsylvania, bought it online. Uh, I'll post a link down below. All right, so let's get to it. Okay, we're ready to go. Andrew's ready. And let's see, the first thing we have to do is mount the plate to the engine. And we're going to use a half inch wrench and two of the bolts uh, with two lock washers. So we're going to do this as an instructional video because this kit did not come with directions. All right, so Andrew's attempting to try and install this without taking the clutch off. We really don't want to take the clutch off and the chain and everything else. You think you can do it? Yeah. All right, folks, he's saying yes. How good is his manual dexterity? All right, we got one screw installed. And we got the other one installed. Now we have no torque specifications. We don't have any idea. We're going to do uh, boy tight or man tight. I think we're going to do man tight. All right, so the next thing we're going to be installing is the bolt that holds the, um, the cable in place. So this is uh, uh, going to be mounted onto this plate. Now there are two holes here that uh, are given and with the proximity of our clutch, it looks like the outermost hole is going to make the most sense uh, for the uh, cable to be run. Uh, it'll be directly in line with the clutch. So Andrew's going to install that now. So the next piece that we're going to be installing is the actual brake. Uh, it has a, a bolt that is going to go through here and mount uh, into this, this bracket. And I think that the two nuts that are uh, provided in the kit will help space, properly space this onto um, the clutch. So let's give that a shot. So we're gonna put the bolt through and then we're going to stick the nut behind the bolt We're thinking maybe that's how that works.
Do you think that's how it goes? Yeah, there's, and then it, that other nut is going to fit on the back side of that bolt. It's kind of a hard to capture right now, but I can show you when we're finished. All right, so you can see there the two nuts are uh, installed on either side of the, the brake. And we believe that that is how it's going to be uh, installed. All right, so you can see there the two nuts are uh, installed on either side of the, the brake. And we believe that that is how it's going to be uh, installed. But we don't know yet. We're still figuring it out. All right, folks, so it's not going in right away. So what we're doing is we're backing out the, the bolt and we're just gonna see if the bolt is gonna go into that, that riv nut. I guess that's what you'd call it. So yeah, move the lining out of the way. Is it not going in? Did it go in before? Yeah, it did. Okay, take it out. All right, we ran into a little bit of a problem. We had to take the bracket back off. And what we found is that when we went to, when we went to thread this bolt in, and into this riv nut, this is at an angle to this riv nut and it would not screw in properly. And what we're finding is that this tab, I don't know if you guys can see that, this tab is bent kind of at an angle like this. So we're gonna have to put this in the vise and see if we can get this tab straightened out because when we start screwing this bolt into this riv nut, it started to cross thread and we thought we cross threaded it, but it is not wanting to go in. See right there it stops because what happens is is it we get it so far in and then it stops because it starts to hit on the side of this tab. So we got to get this tab moved over or maybe we drill the hole out. We got to figure out something. All right so after much deliberation between me and Andrew instead of trying to bend this tab which is pretty thick uh, we're just going to incrementally drill it out until this bolt makes it into that riv nut without binding. All right, so now we're going to grab the bolt while it's still clamped in there and see if the bolt will screw into it now. Is it going in? Yeah. So if you look here, folks, you can definitely see that the bolt is off center of this hole. So drilling it out a little bit definitely made it better for this to go into the riv nut. So it's a good thing Andrew found that, so we did not cross thread our riv nut. So we have the plate sitting here and we got that all drilled out. My son realized that we could probably put the brake on while it's sitting on the workbench and then just add these two screws onto the mini bike instead of having to do it on the bike. All right, so now we got this bolt tightened into this riv nut, and I was curious to see if it was going to poke through the other end, and it just comes out a little bit, so that should not rub on the case. And now we have these two nuts here that can be um, moved in and out to center this, the, uh, the brake here, the lining. So I'm not quite sure there's really nothing holding these in, so maybe this will float a little bit. Um, I mean, I'm sure with the vibration, these things can move in and out. We're going to see how it works and um, kind of give it a give it a shot here and see 
what kind of performance we're going to get from it. So, okay, so now we're going to get this assembly put on and hopefully we'll be able to access the back. Go for man tight. All right, so we got that on. Looks like everything's lining up good. We got the, the brake on, we got the bracket on, everything is lined up. All right, so the next part's gonna be putting on the first part of the brake lever. All right, so we got the lever here. All right, so we got the lever installed. Uh, everything looks good. This obviously will tighten up once we get the spring on, but the lever looks pretty retro. It looks really cool. So, all right, so the next step's gonna be running the cable down to the brake and getting the spring installed and seeing how this is gonna look. How's that? That would work. Oh, is that? Doesn't pinch? Okay, so yeah, I mean, it's pretty much the same with the other one. So that's gonna be good. So you're gonna mark it. Okay, let's look at the end. Yeah, that end's gonna need to be cleaned up just a little bit. We cut the casing and we fed the, the cable through but now we have to install the spring that goes in here before we get um, finishing. This spring has this little cone section on it, and I think that it's meant to go onto the bolt that holds the cable, because this actually fits over these threads right here. So that's the way we're gonna install it now to see, and maybe that holds the spring in a little bit better. We're gonna try that. All right, guys, so in my bicycling days here, I have a cable puller, and this is for installing. I'm gonna see if this is actually gonna work. This actually sometimes helps. Oh yeah. doesn't spin freely no. we have too much. too much we have to back it off how much do we back off No. You find the brake? No, I'm not. It definitely rubs. Yeah. So we got to open it up a little bit more.
Okay, so that opened it up a little bit more. At least we're able to adjust this with some precision now. This cable puller is definitely helping. Okay, give the wheel a spin better. Yeah. That lining will probably Spin the wheel slower. Is the lining moving? Just ever so slightly. Picking up right here. Well, that that we can't change. I mean, that'll eventually rub away. Yeah, it will. All right, guys. So we got it adjusted, and we're getting about half a lever pull on the handlebar, which is good, and we're still. Uh, have plenty room of adjustment for cable stretch so I think we got a I think we got a, a good installation here all right so the last piece is going to be the little chain guard uh, or clutch guard see how this thing looks It definitely sticks out a little bit, but it, it clears the pedal. Would this be considered the emergency brake now? Yeah. <laughs> when all else fails. When all else fails, we still have the scrub brake, which we, uh, we don't want to take off just yet. We want to try this out first and see how it works. All right, folks, here we go. It's very cold out here right now, so we're got to let it warm up a little bit. Hey, you got the wheel lock up. The wheel locked up. Yeah. So we're going to do a stop test on what brake stops the mini bike faster. The first is going to be the scrub brake. All right, so that was at 14 feet. We're measuring from the rear wheel. Okay, the, so the second one now is going to be the, the new brake. <laughs> and he locked up the rear wheel. Eight feet. So that one was eight feet. See if you can do it again without skidding. That was a pretty good, that was a pretty good stop. All right, so not skidding, he went 12. Try it again. So we, he's got to get used to the brake. All right, so the, the scrub brake is decent but the uh the new brake is definitely stopping the the mini bike faster and it could probably get used to the brake and feather it down probably to 10 or even nine feet so there you go there you can you smell the brake so andrew said that you can smell the brake a little bit it's probably wearing in a little bit so we'll have to just keep an eye on it but Looks like we got success.
it's cold. All right. There's our new drone. One of these days we'll do a nice video on that. Brian got himself a new drone for Christmas. All right guys, we have it finished. We got the brake installed. A couple of things that we had to do. We definitely had to uh, drill out the um, tab on the housing to let the bolt go into the riv nut. Um, we had to cut the cable, obviously it was too long. I was kind of bummed that we couldn't use that uh, metal ferrule at the end here, but um, maybe we'll try and get it off and restring it. Uh, really, the, the only difficulty that we had was adjusting the brake itself with the spring. Uh, right now we have about half of a lever pull, which is good. Uh, cable is going to stretch, so we have a little bit more adjustment here in the top. Uh, ran the cable through um, the center here and we're probably gonna put a cable tie on that so it doesn't uh, wiggle here. We are gonna leave the scrub brake on for a little while because as Andrew mentioned, he locked up the tire a couple of times getting used to the brake. So the brake has to wear in. So we're gonna leave the older tires on for a little while and uh, let him get used to the brake. So if he does skid, he'll wear these tires out and um, we're going to wait on putting the newer tires on, which I'm still excited to do. Uh, it'll be, I think the bike will handle better. So if you guys like this video, please click the like and subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the bell so you won't miss our next episode. We're trying to get out one a week. Uh, the next video may be the tires, it may be something else, but we are gonna be putting new tires on this mini bike. Uh, they're not gonna be the square ones, they're gonna be more rounded, so hopefully hit the cornering performance will be a little better. Well, we appreciate you watching and we'll see you soon.